back to Aloha Jen's beauty blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Well, welcome to my March favorites video. Now, I do have some items here that seems kind of a lot, but I really don't have that many favorites here this month. Um, I have some fails for you. I have some things that I just like and I have things that I absolutely love and would repurchase. Now, um, of course, as you guys know, one of my forever favorites is my little baby girl right here in my arms, and that is little Miss Nisha Boo. She's tired. Um, I wore her out today. I um, took her for a long walk this morning. We've been playing, and then also I gave her a bath. So she is, tired and you won't be hearing any squeaky toys in the background because I made sure that I didn't bring any here bring any in this room but um she just really wants me to hold her right now she's just been missing me all week because I have you know I haven't been home that much this week because <clears throat> I'm I've been working um so many hours at work and uh this week is actually going to be kind of crazy too because I'm working Monday through Friday and that's going into the office. Usually on Mondays and Fridays, I have a side hustle, <laughs> that's what I like to call it, where I was working from home on Mondays and Fridays and it's just a half a day, like four hours on Friday, four hours on, on Monday, four hours on Friday and um, so my um, full-time job work schedule has changed and they want me to work um, more hours so and I have a hard choice to make do I give up my side hustle which I really really love to or do I lose hours out on my current job so I have some tough decisions to make um, this week and uh, it just has been a really rough couple weeks. I'm just going to tell you that. I haven't had much time to do anything. I've slacked on my goals. I haven't been focusing on taking good care of myself, like, you know, exercising regularly, um, my diet. And I'm really starting to see it, and it's bumming me out. And I'm trying not to let, you know, it bother me. And my plan is to start over on Monday. I have some plans. I'm not going to share them with you because... Sometimes when I do that, it doesn't happen. And sometimes like some things that we need to keep quiet until it actually happens. So once I get started and I get in the groove of things, I'm going to keep you guys posted on that. Um, don't mind my posture today. It is absolutely horrible. I still have this knot in my shoulder that I haven't been able to work out. That's another thing where I haven't been able to really take care of myself that I'm slacking on, you know, fixing myself. And that's that can't happen anymore. <laughs> so really quick, I wanted to announce to you guys that Aura Lift extended the sale until April 10th. So if for those of you who are thinking that you were gonna miss out, they did extend it another week. So it was originally going to end on April 3rd, but now it's going to end on April 10th. So the Aura Lift is 15% off, and then if you use my discount code, you get an extra 10% off for a total savings of 25% off. Such a great deal. And as you guys can all see, like my jawline is looking pretty good. My whole face structure is looking really, really well, and I still have another month to go. Can you imagine? I wonder what this is really gonna end up like resetting back to like it's already starting to look like my um old face <laughs> from a few years ago but i've noticed that this has minimized a lot and i i really haven't done any devices this week i've been using my um medicube hr booster device i've been using my duro led light therapy mask and i used the jane man lift once this week and i filmed a video um, of me demonstrating that um, just a quick routine i do have plans to use this actually tomorrow and do a very long session with it um, because I wanted to do it today and I was gonna film tomorrow, but the thing is, is I don't wanna put any makeup on tomorrow. I wanna give my face a break. 
um, and just like have a day to where I can get my errands out of the way early in the morning. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I gave Nisha a bath today. I've done laundry today. And then tomorrow, what I'm going to do is go grocery shopping. I'm going to meal prep for the week. And I'm also going to spend some time with giving myself a lift facial. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this video. So Aura Lift is having a sale. Now, there's a couple of items that aren't here that are part of my um, fails, but I will tell you, Nebulift just released a new device. It's called the R1C, and it's in the LA rose color. It's like a peach color. It looks like the R1, but this one has special electrodes on it that you can use around your eyes. Now, will I try this? I don't know because there's not a lot of information about it. And you guys how you guys know how I feel about using radio frequency around your eyes and also like devices that heat up like lasers because these at-home devices because the eye area is such a delicate area and the skin is so thin there that I'm just afraid that that will literally melt the fat pads in that area or deplete them and I'm pretty scared about that. Um myself i will um i i have um some other things that i want to share with you about this um so i've been using the adipo which is a favorite and i'll get into that all right so let's go into hair really quick so really quick um i'm kind of like out of it i think i forgot a hair product i did i forgot a hair product i thought i put it in here so I have been testing the Virtue Labs Flourish line. I'm using the shampoo, the hair mask, and the volume or the density booster. So with the shampoo and the hair mask, I have been using it twice a week. And this I have been using every day. So I have been putting this in my hair every morning and sometimes when I remember, I will put it in my hair in the evenings. Now, what this is, is you put this on your scalp and you massage it in. And I have to tell you, this has been simply amazing for my hair. And the reason being is you all know that I was losing hair from having the vid and it just kept coming out and coming out. And now since I've introduced the Virtue line, um, the Flourish line, just using it two days a week and using the Volume Density Booster. I keep wanting to call it Volume Density Booster, but it's the Density Booster Spray. My hair shedding has like, my hair is shedding like 75% less than what it was. It's probably normal shedding now is what I could, what I could tell you. Um, I'm not seeing, I'm not losing as much. My hair isn't breaking as like it was. It's not it's not coming out in gobs. So, so thankful that I started this line because it is saving my hair. And I love to use these. I love to use the um, hair mask. I love to use it, especially when I'm going to smooth out my hair, because then I can just not worry about washing my hair for a couple days and just let those ingredients really, um, you know, stay in my hair and work. And um, so, with this, I will say that it hasn't caused any issues with my curls. It's been, you know, moisturizing and hydrating enough just using it two days a week. I don't know about using the shampoo and conditioner every day um, during the week or, you know, a few times a week because um, I do have the regular conditioner too. I originally bought it for my husband to use because he likes the Flourish um, shampoo but he didn't like, he doesn't like to use conditioner. So I tried the shampoo and the regular conditioner and it's okay, it's definitely better than the full line, which is for volumizing. So if you are worried about like, if it's gonna be too drying on the hair, it wasn't, but still just not enough moisture. However, it didn't like, you know, take away from my curls. Um, so I was able to supplement the moisture really nicely with the leave-in conditioner versus when I was using the full shampoo from the virtual virtue line I wasn't able to supplement additional moisture um, to make that line work for my hair now I don't want to ramble here because I am a little bit tired I'm just going to tell you I have not been sleeping very well so I'm going to try to stay on track here kind of like Ugh. 
Um, so anyways, love, love, love. So if you're suffering from thinning hair, hair loss, um, hair breakage, menopausal hair, I would suggest that you give the Virtue Flourish line a try. One of you um, tried this on my recommendation and you um, reached out to me telling me that you just noticed results in within a week. And Virtue line, they say that you're going to notice results in your hair in as little as five days because of their special um, proprietary um, 60KU keratin um, uh, ingredient that's in here. <laughs> Sorry, I can't think. And yeah, I mean, I love Virtue hair care. I really haven't wanted to reach for anything else to try. I'm like, no, I want to use my Virtue because I just love my hair every time I use Virtue. Like, it's like I have no bad hair days when I use my Virtue products. When I was using my Orbe, I would always have bad hair days once in a while. But with, since I've used Virtue, I haven't had a bad hair day unless I'm not using the correct products for my hair. That's how much I love it. I plan on sticking with it. I just really love Virtue Hair Care. It is got, it's just, it's just a favorite. All right, so another hair product here I wanna talk about um, that I love, that I picked up, and I hope I can find the link for this because I got this at the Professional Beauty Supply Store. So this is the Wet Brush Go Green Curl Detangler. Whoops, and here's what it looks like. It does have my hair on it. So it's got like these fingers in it and I love this even when my hair isn't wet, but um, when my hair is straight, I use this in my hair. I used to use a wide tooth comb and I switched out to this. I absolutely love this. So whether you have curly hair or you have straight hair, check this brush out. It feels really good on the scalp. It hugs your scalp so nicely, but it's not damaging to your hair. So you can comb out your hair really nicely. I love to, you know, use this to comb through my hair before I get in the shower. I love to use this to comb um, my hair when I get out of the shower. And sometimes when I'm going to smooth out my hair, I just take this. And as I'm smoothing out my hair or blowing it out with my blow dryer to get it prepped for um, either the uh, T3 Airbrush Duo or my T3 Edge, I just have been using this. This is so good. And again, it is the wet brush. Go Green Curl Detangular, and what it says, it says 45% less breakage, 55% less effort, 100% happier, and I have to tell you, yes, I am 100% happier. So go check this brush out. It is amazing. <laughs> um, so real quick, I wanted to give you an update and um, a little first impression. So, um, uh, Ladura reformulated the balance pod and here it is here. I picked it up. I got the email that they reformulated it. So I picked up a box of it and here's what it looks like. It's pink. It is water based and I love it. It is so good. And also what I love about it, there's hardly even a scent to it. So great job Ladura for reformulating this. Love, love, love. Now you all know how much I love my Ladura um, Duo Scalp and Hair Device. My two favorite pods are actually Balance and I love Boost. These are the water-based pods. I was using um, Boost on my hair for the longest time and I do find that these are effective. They have natural ingredients in them and you know they really condition and feed your scalp nutrients. And I told you guys that what I was gonna do is I was gonna test out the Ladura um, Duo with um, another hair serum, serum because there's a lot of you that don't wanna be tied to the pods. And you can use the uh, Duo just by itself or with another hair serum. It's just what you have to do is you use your Ladura Vel, or I keep wanting to call it Vel Pro. You use the Ladura Duo, I'll put a picture of it right here just on your scalp first, and then you take your hair serum of choice and then go in and rub it into your scalp after. That's how I would do it instead of putting in your scalp serum before and then using the device. I mean, you can do that too, but I like to do it after. And it's just like the same thing too. If you use the, the Omna um, Fascia Release Tool by Jane Mann, if you do that in your scalp first and then put your hair serum, 
that's a great way um, to treat your scalp too because there's a lot of you out there who can't use devices that have any kind of electrical current in there because you have pacemakers and everything and so the Duo is not for you. But if you have the Omna massage tool, you can go ahead and use that in your scalp to release the fascia tension and to stimulate the scalp for hair growth um, and just put your hair serum in after. Okay, so um, that's it for favorites for hair. Now let's go into makeup really quick. Um, I do have a fail in the hair department. I'll just talk about it now, okay? So the fail that I have, I'll pop a picture right here, is the Laneige um, Le Volume Elf. That is the blowout dryer brush that has like the teardrop shape to get right at your roots. So I returned that today. That is a complete fail for me. It just did not do well for my hair. I had a lot of frizz still left in my hair. Um, it's not like healthy for your hair. Um, it's a hundred and some, I think it's like $120. And I would say like, if you're looking into that, I would highly recommend the T3 Airbrush Duo over that. Uh, because it's healthier for your hair. My hair smooths out better when I use the T3 Hairbrush Duo versus the Laneige uh, Le Volume Elf. I just didn't really like that device and I felt like it was really drying on the hair. First impression, it seemed great, but as I started using it more, it just wasn't the device for me. And it gets really, really hot. And there's only um, three settings. You have cool, low and high. And once you get it to high, you start it out on high and then you can switch it down to low. And it's like, once I did that, because high is just too high to go throughout my hair and it gets way too hot. But once I switched it down to low, it's like it smoothed it out, but I had a lot of frizz in my hair, even if I went in with the cool shot after. So T3 makes my favorite hair tools. I love the technology in T3. I love the Airbrush Duo because it has their, that ionic um, technology in it where it leaves more moisture in your hair. I love my, um, I love that too because not only do you have the ion mode, but you also have a volume boost mode on it. Same thing with my Airlex blow dryer. And I really love my T3 Edge for when I really want to like, you know, give my hair a quick smooth out. Oh, it's so good. I love T3. Um, hair tools and I think they're coming out with a new hair tool by the way. All right, so I have um I have a fail, I have just like an in between and I have some loves here. So, for my first makeup favorite and I'm sure you guys all know this, but it's the new lavender collection from Lawless. Now this is a limited di edition collection. They sell it at Sephora and I believe they still have it in stock and I think they do still have it on stock in stock at Lawless's website. I love this palette. I've been wearing it, you know, ever since it arrived. I didn't wear it um, this week, but I'm wearing it today because I didn't really want to spend a lot of time doing my makeup this week because it was just a really rough week and I just wanted something really simple and easy. But I love this palette. It is so pretty. It's going to be really pretty, you know, for the rest of spring, but also the summer too. It's just so pretty. And then, of course, I love the lip glosses that go with it too. My favorite one actually is this one, which is Violet Bloom. I am wearing it today. It's not as bright as what it appears. So it is, it does tone down. So if you're worried about the brightness of this, it does really tone down. So love, love, love this collection. And my other favorites, which I'm sure you guys are gonna guess, I don't even probably have to mention or show you, is the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Beauty Blush Wands. I have all four. I'm wearing the Pillow Talk today, which is this one. And I've been wearing it with this collection. I also love um, Pink Pop or Peach Pop would go really well too. Just depending on, you know, your mood or what you want to have like, you know, on your lips and stuff. But I love all these. Let me know if you guys still want a video of me demonstrating all colors on my cheeks with looks. I would be happy to do that for you. All right. So another favorite that I have here that I've been completely obsessed with 
is this Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum. So this has been my favorite foundation for the month. I have been so in love with this ever since I picked it up. Now I have been testing others in between, but I keep going back to this one. So this one and the number one De Chanel for when I want like, you know, a little bit more coverage are my favorite foundations. The, excuse me, this is so hydrating. I love this too because I don't have to wear a makeup primer with this. It just really looks beautiful on the skin. It has some luminosity to it where it's not too dewy to where you look, you know, overly dewy to where it's like almost greasy. It's just so beautiful. Now I loved it so much. I did order another color. I ordered 60, which is for medium skin with a neutral undertone. I have 50 here, which is for a peach undertone. And I prefer a neutral undertone, so I'll compare the two shades. So I love this new favorite foundation. And I have my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I absolutely love this eye primer. It is so good. <laughs> Actually, I would say like all the Milk Makeup primers are all good. I love the Hydro Grip line, which is more for those of us who live in a dry climate where we need more hydration in the skin. The makeup primer is so good. The reset um, spray or the refresh or set spray is so good and the eye primer is really good too. So um, I love it too that with the face primer and the setting sprays, they have a couple of different sizes that you can choose you know, to pick it up and try it to see if you like it, but also like, you know, like with the, the spray, you can put it in your purse if you want to refresh your makeup. Now with the eye primer, it's just one size, but it is so good and it looks like I'm going through it pretty fast because every time I do my eyes, I've been testing this. Now I did test this with my Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerize um, Eyes, the cream um, metallic pillow, uh, rose gold, um, eyeshadow and it didn't really do anything for that but my lawless eyeshadows and all my other eyeshadows this is so good now if you have if you live in a humid environment environment or your skin tends to run you know oily and you want something that is mattifying when I was at Sephora I did spray on the mattifying um setting spray and it's really good too so that might be something i might pick up in the summer because in the summer i do tend to get a little bit oily with the heat i'll check it out and let you guys know um i have a light here so this is the westman atelier vital skincare complexion drops i'm actually wearing this today with the peter thomas roth primer fx or fx primer Firming primer. I can't get the name straight. That's another primer that I really like. And I really like that for when I'm wearing my um, number one De Chanel foundation or the Westman Atelier. Um, because it's more of a mattifying primer, but I use that mainly for when I have a special event or if I know that I need my makeup to last longer and to where it's not going to let my makeup get oily because it does leave a matte appearance on the skin. And um, with the number one day Chanel foundation and the Westman Atelier complexion drops, I'm just gonna say it short like that, is that these tend to get really luminous on me, um, you know, throughout the day and my skin gets really oily. So having that Peter Thomas FX primer is really good. Also the Milk um, Makeup Primer works really well as well. But this, if I do not use this without the Peter Thomas Roth primer, I do not like it. It gets too um, dewy and makes my skin look like a big grease ball. Now this is very luminous already. And then it de also depends on your skincare underneath. So if you have products that make your skin already look really, really dewy, this is going to add to that. And if you have texture in the skin, this will enhance that texture. So the only time I like this is like today, I like it with the Peter Thomas Roth um, Primer FX. That's the only time I like it. So would I repurchase this? No, I would not. Um, another uh, one, this is actually a complete fail for me. I was hoping it wouldn't. So I picked up the Rose Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. 
And, you know, I was talking with a friend and we were both like, we were debating on whether we wanted to pick this up because I recently um, picked up my Ilya concealer because I had two backups that I purchased almost a year ago and I wanted to use them in case they go bad. And I picked it up and I'm like, I fell in love with it all over again. And what I love about the Ilya concealer is it's very light on the skin, gives me the perfect amount of coverage, and it's a matte or satin matte finish. Now, I was watching a makeup artist recently and they were, um, you know, talking about under eye concealers to wear on your under eyes when you have like dark circles or the hollowness underneath here, it's better to use a matte concealer versus a luminous concealer because the luminous concealer with the light reflecting properties, you would think that it would like, you know, kind of distract the light and not make it look so hollow or enhance that. Well, I was testing it out and my Charlotte Tilbury concealer, my this one really enhances the hollowness that I have there in this area. It looks a lot better now because I've been using Adipo. But if you have sunken in eyes or dark circles, stay away from those luminous concealers. I would go for something that is more on the satin side or a matte finish. This shocked me actually, because this is a sheer coverage and this is a full coverage. This is even more coverage than my Charlotte Tilbury concealer and my Ilia True Skin Serum um, concealer. I was shocked by this. This, it's thick. It's hard to blend out, and when I'm in my bathroom, I like it, but when I go outside, I'm like, oof, no. Also, the color is off. I bought, I picked up two, and I picked them up in the shades that I got, got the actual foundation, light, light to medium, right? So, this is actually darker than the foundation. It's so weird. So, this is going to be returned, and for reference, I got the shade 60, and I got the shade 50. So I will be returning these. I say this is a total miss. Now they do say that you can use this as a foundation and you can, it is that full of coverage. I was really, really shocked by it, but it's a total miss for me. And um, going back, it is. <laughs> All right, so that is it for makeup. Now for nails, okay. So um, I've had my nails, I haven't done my, uh, gotten my nails done, I think for like almost two months now. I, I took off the gel polish. So I was doing the gel manicure and it absolutely destroyed my nails and I'm waiting for it to grow out. And my nails, no matter what I put on it, they're so soft from where they removed that gel polish. And so like they split and they break real easily. So I've been putting nail strengthener on and also using this next favorite called, um, it's the Olive in June Cuticle Serum. I love this. So I bought um, an Olive in June manicure cut kit and that's what this came in because I was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna do my nails from home. But my nails are so damaged that I can't even put nail polish on. So I purchased another Olive in June kit and I pur purchased the one for the press on nails. So these are press on nails. I put them on this morning and I really love them. Now my thought process for this is my nails look like crap right now and these are easy to take on and off and they're not gonna damage my nails. So it's just something to cover my nails until all that bad area grows out and then I can have my nice nails again and then I will go in with a um, and you know, paint them again, like how I used to, <laughs> just not with gel nail polish ever again. I seriously will never ever do gel po nail polish manicure ever again. I love it because it lasts on me for weeks, but it's just very damaging on my nails. Now I love the Olive and June manicure sets that they have. Not only did I purchase one for the fingernails, but I also pr purchased their press on one. I think I'm gonna purchase their pedicure kit too because here where I live, I have the issues of trying to find people to do my nails correctly. Like, I, oh, there's always something wrong. I don't know what it is. And it shouldn't be that way. I have to go into the South Bay to go get my nails done if I want them done correctly. And that's just too far of a drive for me. I can't do it. Um. All right, so 
I love the Olive and June products and this cuticle serum is an absolute favorite. And as I get more into, you know, doing my nails, I will continue to let you know my favorites from their line. One more makeup item that I forgot to mention that is actually a favorite and that is the Prime Promatics Prime Lash Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. Now, as you guys know, I have been testing this out. Now I have brown, black, and navy. I am wearing the navy today and I love navy mascara with this lawless lavender palette. I think it looks so pretty. Now with this mascara, my favorite one is actually the navy formula. And this is really weird. So they sent me these for review to test and try. Now I spent a month with the navy, I spent a month with the black and I just opened up the brown. And all three formulas are different. I, they're supposed to be the same formula. So this one is my favorite formula. I have no issues with this. Gives me really nice lashes. It's not very volumizing, but I do have some volume in there. It, I get really nice length, but the point of this is the brush is specially designed to grab every lash and to enhance lashes for those of us who are noticing the signs of aging with our lashes. You know, they're getting shorter, they're breaking, they're looking sparse. And this has nourishing ingredients in it. It's $28 and my favorite one is actually the navy. The black formula, right from the start, it was too dry and it didn't last long. And that one is really tough for me to take off my lashes. And then I tried the brown formula. Now I really like the color of the brown. It's a really nice brown and it looks really nice on my lashes. But however, the formula is completely different than the navy and the black. So they're all three different formulas and I'm going to repurchase the navy and I'm gonna go from there on whether that I would recommend these. Um, so don't buy this just yet. Let me repurchase the Navy and um, let you guys know because I have noticed that my lashes look so much better than what they were looking. I'm getting some length, they look really healthy, and I've been using the Prime um, Lash Mascaras for the last three months. So they are nourishing, they are working. And so far out of all the nourishing mascaras that I've tried from the Fit Glow, um, the plume science that the prime lash has been my favorite, but it's very inconsistent. And I told that to them with the company cause they watched my video and they're like, so what, what was the problem? And I said, well, the formulas are inconsistent and I didn't hear back. <laughs> Funny, right? All right. So as for skin care, I got one body care product here. So I um, switched back to my Lady Sweet, and this is the a rejuvenating botanical oil for the glow below. <laughs> I was using the Joy Lux Hydrate Her um, Serum, and it, their oils, the Joy Lux is a thinner consistency than the Lady Sweet. However, I didn't notice anything with the Joy Lux. I love the Lady Sweet. I reintroduced this into my um, intimate wellness and I have to tell you if the difference is night and day. This really moisturizes and hydrates your vulva. It also helps with any kind of loss of elasticity in that area because as we age, things go down and it does in that area too. And it's really important to keep that area moisturized and hydrated, but with the right products because it is a very sensitive area. You don't wanna be using in anything in there that can get into any openings that can cause any sort of rash, infection, anything like that. This one, I really noticed a difference in my skin in that area. It just like perks it back up and it's happy. And I really, really love this and I just ordered a backup bottle of it because it cannot be without this. Now I've tried several other, you know, oils for that area and this is the only one that stands out to me. And I love their, their um, cleanser too. It's just, it's pretty pricey. So I ordered the Love Wellness Cleanser and that should be here pretty soon. And I will test that out and we'll do a comparison video because like I said, I wanted to do an intimate wellness um, video with you guys. 
So as far as skincare, which we're gonna head into now, I have a few old favorites here and I have a couple of new favorites. So my number one new favorite skincare product that I've been using, it'll be four weeks on Monday, that I absolutely love and I'm seeing a difference in my skin is the Adipo. So I love what this is doing for my skin. Now you guys have seen me use this. If you're watching my spring reset series, I have been demonstrating my skincare routine and incorporating uh, how I incorporate Adipo into my routine. But let me tell you what I've noticed is that I am seeing it restore the volume that I have lost in my skin. So right in here, as you can tell, I'm losing volume, but it doesn't look as bad as what it did before. So I noticed that I was starting to get the marionette lines here. You know, that's a sign of volume loss, you know, the change of texture around my lips. My under eyes were starting to look really hollow, and especially this one. Wait, is it this one? It's this one. This is the one that always has that like hollow spot in it, and it's because that's where the one where my fat pad got destroyed from using electrical muscle stimulation right there accidentally from the Time Master Pro. It's starting to restore that area to where it doesn't look as sunken in and it doesn't look as hollow right there. I just noticed that the skin around here, it's looking like thicker. And this is all like perking up and firming up. So it's only been four weeks. My skin looks tighter and firmer. It has more of a glow. And this is amazing. I completely dismissed it um, when one of you brought it up to me because of the ingredients and they didn't have the science up. They didn't have any before and afters. And, you know, I've been like... I somehow discovered Claire from the Honest Channel's video, it like popped up in my um, YouTube recommendations. And so I watched it and I was like, hmm, let me check this out. So I went back on their website, I checked it out. They had all the science up there. They had the before and after pictures. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna order this and try it because when you look at the ingredients, it looks like it's not gonna do anything, but it is amazing. Now, this isn't gonna work for everybody. This is for volume loss. So thinking, you know, um, it's for those of us who, you know, starting to see the signs of where our, you know, our fat pads are diminishing. We're losing the plumpness in the skin, which is also diminishing of the fat cells or degeneration of the fat cells. And this helps regenerate it. Now, this isn't a forever product. So that's very exciting but you can continue to use it one or two, like they say like one or two times a week, a week as a maintenance phase. Now I've been using this twice a day, every day since it arrived, and I have one more use out of it. So it's almost, it'll be four weeks on Monday since I started using this. And I probably use maybe a little bit too much, but I have two backup bottles and I'm gonna continue to use this. Um, they say, I think it's around like, two to three months and you kind of go from there what you want to do so this isn't a product that's going to work for everybody and it also depends you know how old you are how much damage that you have done to those those fat cells in the skin on whether this is going to work for you and they have all different cut types of studies but if you're using this and you've been using it for a little bit and you're not seeing results i would reach out to ivan he's very reachable he's a very genuine guy so nice and he knows a lot about the skin and he'll tell you the proper way of using this. And you know, if he'll look at your skincare routine to see if you might not be using it right. But one of the things is that this is a cream, but it's not a cream that you rub into the skin. You paint it on the skin very lightly because it's got to travel down the hair follicle <clears throat> to get to those fat cells. Now, if you rub it in, you're just pushing it into the stratum corneum completely dismissing the hair follicle. So that's really important on your application. And I just, I'm seeing great results for this. And I just recommend like everyone try it um, to see if it will work for you. And they usually recommend that you start off with two bottles in order to see the difference because it's gonna take longer than four weeks to see a difference. I'm thinking 12 weeks for me. But we'll see. So love, 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 love. 
And I've been using my Mysama products again. These are always a love. I absolutely love the Mysama Green Ribose Gel Balm Cleanser. I've been using this in the mornings. I get up first thing in the morning, cleanse my skin with this, and then I throw on my Green Ribose Press Serum, and I've been performing my LED light therapy in the morning. And I've been doing this at least four days a week. Now, I plan on going back to the gym on Monday, which means I will be at the gym probably at like 3.45 in the morning to get my workout in before work. And so I don't know where this is gonna fall. I might switch it up and do it in the evenings, but the only problem with that is it's going to change my skincare routine. So I will figure it out and I will let you guys know, but I absolutely love what these do for my skin. You know, this really does help your LED light therapy. Love, 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 forever love there. I have a new makeup cleansing oil that is a favorite. This is the Michelle Corley. This is their pore clearing cleansing oil. It has vitamin E, organic sun, sunflower seed oil, organic safflower seed oil, and it emulsifies. So this is a very simple formulation. It's minimal ingredients. It emulsifies. This is fabulous. And I love it also that it doesn't have a scent to it. So it cleans my skin really well without stripping it. And this is what I use for a first cleanse to remove my makeup and my SPF. And then I follow through with a different cleanser. But this is so good. I demonstrated this in my Spring Reset series. So it's very good. Um, as far as I know, you can only pick this up from Artist Skincare. But it's very reasonable. It's four ounces for, I think it's like $25. And my other favorite is the Fit Glow Makeup Cleansing Oil. This is like $45 for 2.7 ounces. So big difference. And this has a scent to it and this doesn't. So if you are looking for, you know, a makeup cleansing oil that is fairly reasonable, that helps with, you know, blackheads, sebaceous filaments, congestion or just a cleansing oil to try to, you know, cleanse your skin, get your makeup and your SPF off, highly recommend this. I love it. And that will be a repurchase. And let's see, for the One Skin Eye, I have been loving this. Now, I think I've been using this now for a month, but um, during the day, I put this all around my eye area except for my eyelids. And at, in the evening, since I've been using the Adipo underneath my eyes, I only put this on my brow area and I put it on my eyelid skin here. And I'm noticing that it's been helping with the crepiness of my eyebrow area and my eyelids. Now, I was starting to get really creepy in that area. And I was like, okay, my osmosis eye creams, they're just not cutting it. So I picked this up and I'm loving what it's doing. I have noticed that my um, eye area looks a little bit firmer too um, since I picked this up and started to um, use this, but I'm also using the Aura Lift too. So it could be adjusting and lifting at my hoods as well. But I really love this so far. And of course, you know, it's a little bit too early to tell, but I've been using it for almost four weeks now and a little bit goes a long way. And it, I think you should definitely look into it. It is fairly expensive, but I believe you, you can find a discount code here on YouTube from other YouTubers that, um, you know, have been working with OneSkin to get it for cheaper. So we'll see. Um, I'll let you guys know in another four weeks whether I still like it or not. The Neogenesis Glide Gel. This is a conductive gel. I have been loving this. Now, this has very simple ingredients in it. There's really nothing special in this. It's water, glycin, glycerin, propendiol, hexadroxyethyl cellulose, dehydroceric acid, benzyl alcohol, lactic acid, and sodium hydroxide. This, I love this. It is so great. It's so simple. There's no scent to it. Um, it's easy to wipe off my skin. And when I wipe this off my skin, my skin is so soft and so hydrated. So I've been loving this. I just wish it was bigger. This is only four ounces. However, I think it's around $26. I'm not sure. 
other favorite skincare product is the Neogenesis Moisturizing Mist. This is Hydrate and Tone. I have been using this all the time. I love, love, love. I use it to massage my osmosis serums into my skin. I've been using it with the Glide Gel for when I use microcurrent. It is so good. Now, for those of you who are not into um, stem cells, this does have a pat their patented technology in it, which is the SR. S2RM, which it contains human condition media. So if you're not into that, you'd want to avoid this, but I love, I just wish the sprayer on it was better. It comes out really heavy. So sometimes I use a little bit too much. Another favorite um, skincare item is this Booster H product penetration device from uh, Medicube, I think they call it the Glow Booster now. So this is part of their HR devices. So this is a product penetration device. It says it boosts your skincare. I think it's like 490%. What I love about this is I do not have to use a conductive gel with this. I can just use my Neogenesis Mist or whatever mist I'm using and massage in my osmosis toners with no conductive gel. You can also use it over your moisturizer and it helps with the product penetration. And I absolutely love it. Now, I re reached out to Medicube to see if they would send me their um, HR ATS booster or their air, air shot, which is like a micro needling device. And they're also their Usera, which is their skin plumping and tightening device that uses high frequency and ultrasound. So I haven't heard back, but I will keep you in the loop. Now, um, I do have a fail from Medicube devices and it is the HR Derma EMS shot. So I have tried this a couple of times and it's just not right for me. It is way, way too strong. Oh my God, this is so, so strong. This is like one of the strongest EMS's, EMS devices I've ever tried. It's super heavy too, by the way. I've tried it on my body. It's way too strong and it's kind of awkward to use. So I know there's a lot of people out here on YouTube that really like to use this for their jawline. However, I'm not someone that can use EMS on my skin. I just have too thin of skin and my skin is too sensitive to it. My body's too sensitive for this. But so I also asked them if I could host a giveaway for this. Um, so as soon as I hear back from them, I will let you know. And if they say yes, then we'll do a giveaway for this with their HR Booster Gel, which I love this conductive gel too. Now, this one has some ingredients that some of you might not like. There is niacinamide in here. Um, there is... Uh, there's a, a lot of um, hyaluronic acid, collagen. Um, I saw one ingredient um, that I thought was in here. I can't really read it, but make sure you check out the ingredients, you know, to make sure it's right for you. But their conductive gel is pretty affordable. There is some very nice hydrating ingredients in here. And this one you can leave on your skin. However, it does contain glycerin and it does contain collagen. And with those two ingredients, they are larger molecules. And if you put this on your skin, do your devices, and then you leave it on and you go in with your skincare, some of your skincare probably won't penetrate into the deeper layers of the skin because glycerin and collagen should be applied last because they can block those ingredients. So just an FYI, because this is a leave-on um, conductive gel, or you can wipe it off. So I wanted to point that out there. So that's a great conductive gel too. So I will keep you guys posted on that. My last favorite, I have one more uh, favorite and a fail, and you know, this video is already gonna be 50 minutes long, sorry. The Jane Man Lift. So I love this, this is my favorite, thing of 2000 so far from 2023 is the Jane Man Lift. If you guys have a Myo Lift Mini, if you have a Myo Lift QT, if you have a Pico Toner. Now, I'm not sure if 
I think they might have changed that, but I'm still waiting to find out. Um, Art of Skincare carries the lift that is specifically calibrated for your MyoLift devices. And I have to tell you, if you have if you have a Pico toner, pick up the one for the Pico toner. If you have a MyoLift device, pick this up. This will change your life for microcurrent. I'm so in love and I cannot wait to do my long session tomorrow. Save up for it. I mean, it's $390, I believe, but it's worth every penny. You guys will love this tool. Um, like I said, it's the only way that I want to perform microcurrent. And I'm going to do some more content around this too, so stay tuned. Um, I'm working on getting a Pico toner too, so hopefully that will be here sooner rather than later. I'm hoping it'll be here by May, but we will see because finances are kind of, you know, rocky right now with the way the economy is, but I'm going to try my best to get that here. Um, so we'll see. And I have, um, so this is an in-between. I don't love it. I like it. And I don't hate it. This is the Cure Rejuvalite Pro LED um, face mask. Now, what I love about this is that you can customize it in the app for either anti-aging mode or using anti-aging mode and anti-breakout um, mode together. I also love that it's a three minute treatment, but you use this daily. So I love having this as an option for when I don't have a lot of time and I wanna get my LED light therapy in. Um, couple things I don't like about it is I find that it's too short here. It only comes to here on me. Um, and I'm not seeing results with this. So I'm not sure if it's doing anything. It's a bit pricey. Uh, so I do like it, but I don't love it. And I don't regret my purchase on this because it's still nice to have around for when I want a, cr a quick treatment. Um, it does have infrared in it. Uh, it has actually an anti-aging mode. It has deep red, amber, red, and infrared. And then anti-breakout mode is um, just blue light. So yeah, I mean, it, it's a great mask. It's comfortable to wear. It's just that, you know, I find that it cuts off certain areas and I'm not seeing results with it. I tried it for three and a half months and no results. I see more of a difference in my skin using my Aduro for two weeks than what I ever did with this mask. So there's my final thoughts on the cure. So if you're thinking about purchasing this, I would, I would invest my money in an Aduro or another LED light mask that suits your needs. Uh, because this, I mean, I'm just not seeing anything. Maybe I need to try it for longer, but I mean, I've been giving it uh, 12 weeks, well, over 12 weeks. So, so yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just okay. Kind of bummed. <laughs> so, because that wasn't cheap, <laughs> but you know, I tried it, um, you know, and it, you know, I tried to, I tried it, you know, to review it for you guys here on the channel so we can help, so I can help make you make the best informed decisions on what's best for your skin and your budget. So, all right, guys, so we went really long with this video, and I know those of you who love my long videos are going to love this one. My schedule's kind of tight this week, so I don't know when I will be back on here, but I will try my best to do a spring reset. I really need to focus this week and get back into my workout schedule and my healthy eating so I can lose some more weight because summer is going to be here in two months. <laughs> In two and a half months, it's so crazy, and I am not ready for it. Honestly, I'm not ready for it. The weather weather's finally nice here where I live. I'm looking out the window right now. Beautiful, gorgeous, sunny day, and next Monday, it's supposed to be 80 degrees, and I, yeah, I'm not ready for that, and I, you know, it's my own fault for letting things get in the way of my goals, and you know, this month there's gonna be a lot of changes with that. I really have to stick to what's important to me and, you know, things of, you know, getting myself healthy again. So 
that is it with this video. <laughs> if you liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Even if you found one thing helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Have a beautiful rest of your weekend. Have a wonderful week ahead. And don't forget to share your smile and shine bright. I love you all so much. And thank you for all your continued love and support and your friendship. It means the world to me. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey, now. Take a step outside and seize the day.